Hey, what's up, y'all? Getting ready for this authentic verification for a shoe that's really hard to get, but I'm going to show you the price when I get to it. Just because, man, not to tease you or anything, but just to show you that if you're vigilant and you stay kind of on the scene, moving around, looking for stuff, you can find some really good things. All right, so we see the Kyrie 4 box. And we've seen it a million times. We've done a lot of Kyrie 4s on the station. Um... Color is multicolor, multicolor. Style code is 943-806-900. The SRP is $120. Yeah, all right, so let's get back in focus. All right, so size 12, UPC is 888-412-975-662. There's a 14 at the end. Now you need to pay really close attention to those numbers because this is a shoe that's getting bootlegged. Why? Because it's a really expensive shoe in resale. All right, so make sure you pay attention to all of the numbers and I hope that I can see this stamp on here and I can make it out because it's blurred and it's hard to see. B171114. I hope that's right, man. 17, 11, 14. So 11, 14, 17, B, 11, 17, 11, 14. So let's hope that's right, man, because it's really, really, really kind of, the person that stamped it did have to stamp. So I'm trying to make it out as best as possible. All right, so I'm going to pull these out. And it's the confetti. Now, you would think a confetti, like with the Jordan pack, the champagne and confetti, it was for a championship celebration. This is not for a championship celebration. 2016, Kyrie lost. And when they lost, he didn't want to feel that way again, so he kept a piece of the confetti. And it reminds him of how it feels to get to the championship game and lose, so he's not happy about it. The shoe doesn't represent a happy time. It represents the fight that it takes. And on the side of the shoe, I mean, it's really nice, man, when you get into it, but... Let's get the um, date first. So I'm going to go to the size label for you guys. And 06, 21, 17, 2, 10, 24, 17. And I said 11, 14, 17. Yeah, so we within three weeks, man. So the stamp was right. Remember that. Make sure you check your production date against the stamp in your box. And you should have a stamp inside of your Kyrie box. All right. Let's get to the 360. And then uh, this thing is really, really nice. The detail and the color that they used on it, it's pretty amazing. So let us get to it. I'm just looking at the bottom of the shoe and everything. We know all of the different, you know, kind of cues on this shoe. I'm looking right here. Fear is not real. Fear is not real. Fear is not real. Yeah, all right. Just um, making sure that's what that says, man. So let's get back to it because I didn't even pay attention. It's in here inside of the right there. All right. So it's right there on the inside of the groove where it says that. So let's 360 this because there's a lot going on with it. There goes your toe. Toe box. And there's a lot of these different kind of gradients that are happening with the shoe that you have to see. Look at the tongue. So that's definitely something you want to pay attention to if you get a pair, just to make sure everything is legit. On the inside of it, but you can't see it because I don't want to untie it, you know, a whole lot. I'm going to move this up as close as I can and get a reflection there. And you see all of the different uh, catchphrases that people make when they lose. They're on the inside of that shoe. I'm trying to find a good angle for that one. You can kind of see it, but not so good. But the insole is this kind of magenta color on the left shoe, and it's the it's really more of a purple on the right shoe. So it matches this part of the shoe. All right. Let's go with the left and the left. It's the more purple. The right is the yellow. I'm sure somebody wants me to move that up. So I'll move that up and then I'll move this side up as well. 
You can see the speckles, the right medial. Match it against yours. If you have a pair, if you don't have a pair, you're just looking at it and saying, yo, those are dope. Or I'd really like to get a pair of those. But these things are reselling for $250 to $350 a pair. So it's brutal on the resale pricing. And there goes your heel. And look how that gradient is from side to side. That paint job is fantastic. Really nice shoe. Really nice shoe. But that's it. Going to wrap that up. All the materials on it. Medial, suede. Uh, this side is a little bit more sturdy. It's a leather. I think it's a leather. Or it's a synthetic. But this is a patent leather, I think, back here at the heel. And then, of course, around the front, you have this kind of engineered mesh. And then at the toe box, you have leather on both shoes. So that's it. And you have all the style cues that are there. Mom's name and uh, daughter's name, Zuri and Elizabeth, and then the Humble and Hungry and the Just Be You. All of that is there. See you guys on the next one. Long video, but it's a lot going on with this shoe. So that's the way it is.